ابراہیم علیہ کے سلام وزدفو فادہ اب سیدنا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ کی وسلم Look, let's face it, and this is with anyone. If anyone remembers your father or grandfather or anyone in your family in a positive light, then you take great pride in it. You feel a sense of happiness and elation. Although he is praising your fathers and grandfathers, you still feel happy by it. You still feel proud about it. So any mention of Ibrahim السلام, certainly will win the approval of our Prophet السلام, because we are talking about his forefather. Our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam certainly would approve of us talking in detail about this great Prophet of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and this is very important, that all of my fathers and mothers until Adam Alaihi Wasallam were all Muslims. None of them were Mushriks. None of them were Kafirs. All of them worshipped Allah alone. He made this abundantly clear. That not just my own father, but his father, his father, all the way up to Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam. Our Prophet alayhi salatu was salam had a park ancestry. Tayyib. 100% Muslims. So automatically, because our Prophet is saying that his lineage is 100% clean, it means that Ibrahim alayhi salam must also be clean because he is his forefather. This is important to mention, very important to mention the reason because seemingly, in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the, uh, the father, seemingly at least, the father of Ibrahim alayhi salam as a mushrik. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ azar لِأَبِيهِ Now the word Abu normally translates as father. So seemingly at least, it seems that in the Quran, Ibrahim's father has been described as azar who was certainly a mushrik. The reality is, is that Azar was not the father of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He was his uncle. Sometimes the Arabs, they use the word Abun, father, in order to denote not their own biological father, but their uncle. This is a tradition to be found among Semites as well. It is really your uncle, but you call him a Baji, basically. The Quran approves this. In the Holy Quran, there is a uh, verse in which Allah subhanahu uh, wa ta'ala, he um, mentions the conversation of uh, one of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sayyiduna, uh, Yaqub alayhi salam. And Yaqub alayhi salam, on his deathbed, he asked his children, who are you going to worship after me? And they, he said, Na'budu ilahaka wa ilaha abaika Ibrahim wa Ismaila wa Ishaq. So here the word abun had been described to you someone other than father. Ibrahim's father could not have been Azar. The reason being because the Quran makes it abundantly clear that you are not allowed to perform a dua for mushriks. You are not allowed to do dua for them. But in the Quran, and famously we know this as well, in a dua that we perform in our salah, what do we recite? Rabbana khfirli wa li walidayya wa lil mu'minina yawma yakum al hisab. Oh Allah, forgive me and forgive my parents. Who said this? Ibrahim alayhi salam. So in this dua, who is Ibrahim alayhi salam performing a dua for? His father. He could only perform a dua for his father if he was a Muslim, not a mushrik. So therefore we reached the conclusion that he must have been someone else. It was uh, um, Tare who was his actual father, the, the ulama karam tell us. It is a complicated issue. It is something that needs reading up on. It is something that you need to read all sources uh, on it. Uh, I have produced in the past a, uh, an article about this issue that was Azar, the father of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Inshallah ta'ala, in the next uh, few weeks, I will ensure that it is uh, put up onto the Islamic Center website. It's a three-page article. I have bought one copy along. If you want to have a look at the end, please do so. But please be 100% sure and 100% mutmain that Ibrahim alayhi salam's father was not Azar. Certainly he, uh, his father was not a mushrik. All Ibrahim alayhi salam's ancestry was Pak. And certainly that is the case with Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi uh, wasallam.